Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. This is 480 volts. We have finished all of the worlds in the Peacekeepers homeland. And we have collected uh, more than 1,200 treasure. Uh, I thought we did anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. I see 3,000. It said 200. I was a little nervous. That that means that's how much treasure I've collected in the Peacekeepers overworld. Just the overworld. Point is, we can go to the next world. Let's talk to Gosnold here. Nice job, Spyro. One day you might become a real dragon. Hey, buddy, I am a real dragon. Hop aboard for the Magic Crafters world if you are ready. Let's go. That kind of ticked me off. I am a real dragon. Just not a very big dragon, but don't let don't let spiral size fool you. The magic crafters, it's uh It's a, it's a okay, first off, I have to say it, love the music. This is a good world, uh, overworld. Uh fits with uh, the dragon deal. I mean, it's just it's just pure oh uh, well, I'll deal with him later. It's just pure Ow! Uh, fantasy. Okay, these guys, uh, they have fireproof armor, so we can't mess with them. Yeah, I'll get you later. Um, hey, he came down. Yeah, it's just pure fantasy. I love it. Cosmos! Welcome to Magic Crafters. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. Can do, buddy. Actually, it's funny. I can actually go to the next world if I wanted to. I can skip Magic Crafters entirely, but I'll I'll do Magic Crafters obviously because I'm trying to 100% the game. Okay, that guy's a little fast. Um, yeah, I better get him now. He's just gonna tick me off. Uh, let's see. There he is. There's the guy. Turn around the corners. Got him. Turn, turn around the corners loosely. Alright, that was my sixth dragon egg. Um, which we're actually going to finish out the dragon eggs in this home world. Um, which is kind of funny. Okay, I'm, I'm really digging this music. But yeah, this, this, this world is so uh, fantasy based. As the name um, implies, we're going to be dealing with a lot of magical goodness. And there's nothing more magical than a dragon, right? Who has a dragonfly as a health meter. And a cute little fairy as a save point. You know, it fits. Actually, there's a lot of fairies in this this overworld. Oh, those guys. The green wizards. I just love their sound clips they make. Row, row, row. When you get close to them, they do that. So they're basically just jerks. I mean, th that's all they really are. They're just jerks. And they're like, hey, you. And then you get close to them, and they raise the area, and they're like, hey, <laughs> you can't get me. So, but all you gotta do is rush them. See, that guy was too slow. Now, these, these two here. Whoa, he almost killed me, actually, because all of a sudden the ground I was on was a lot higher than it was earlier, and I almost fell off of it, but I'll get him this time. I hear an- I- and yes, you're not dreaming, I hear another thief. Yeah, that guy right there, um, uh, he's fast. Oh yeah, and those, um, those metal chests that have the fan on them, and don't be surprised if you- if you bust one of them and you hear glass breaking twice or metal breaking twice, shrapnel. It's because a lot of times, you'll break it, it'll go flying up into the air, and then the fan will land, and it can actually land on enemies or other chests and uh, destroy them. But this wizard right here, he is more of a jerk than that. He, uh, he's too good for you. Alright, so here's a world, Alpine Ridge. We'll actually do that in this video. You two. Whoa. Okay. I don't know what the heck this thing is. I hear another thief. 
All right. Oh, what are these? What are these? Screw the thief for now. I'm trying to get a good look at these. Ah. All right. Thief time. I think he just runs around a straight circle. Nothing fancy. Okay. Uh. Okay. I, I keep stopping r running to try and flame him, and I probably should just charge him. See, I, I actually could have had him right there if I... Or, or not. Seven dragon eggs! Yeah, two in a single, uh... It's not even a stage, it's an overworld. That's pretty crazy. I hear him laughing, where is he? Uh-oh! Uh-oh! You're busted now, buddy! Look at him laughing! I actually, I want to do that again, because can I, can I flame? It, if you press the triangle button, you know, you zoom in on the camera, and you can move around. Can I flame him from right here? That would be so epic if I could. Yes, I can! That's awesome. Alright, let's see. Uh, oh, the arrow pads. This, well, I don't want to say what it is because that's spoiler. Uh, but it's awesome. Alright. Uh, okay, I hear a light. Alright, there's nothing to do, but, uh, but go for it, I guess. Let's take care of these dudes right here. Alright. Where is he? Right here. Let's get him. Oh! He's too fast, too. How do I get him? Uh, the answer is up here. So what's this? Uh, that is the high caves, no? Yep, high caves. Xantor! When you see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge? Excellent! Go ahead, try it. Enough of your bantor, Xantor! I don't- I am not interested in here- Wait a minute, supercharge?! Excellent. Um, there's actually stuff I need to, uh, do, uh, crystal flight, oh, the flight level. Boldar. This portal leads to a special place where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young dragon, earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. <laughs> Three worlds in and you're just now telling me how to fly in the flight levels. It's kind of late for that, buddy. And I like that Spyro was like, oh, yeah, great. Uh, not interested in hearing your story. Uh, let's clear the pathway out. The supercharges are awesome because, uh, well, it, okay, here, you got this chest here. You can't, you can't flame it, you can't charge it. But you can do other stuff. Oh, I should have let that guy live. He was going to start panicking. Uh, all right, now, those guys right there are real jerks because they can shoot lightning bolts on you. And, uh, that's not good. Uh, Wizard Peak. Wah! That sucks. Ooh, 25. See, my dream of the perfect dragon, and sadly, my pet dragon does not do this. Uh, I've been trying to teach her how to do this, but she doesn't know how to do this. My dream of the perfect dragon could shoot, could breathe lightning instead of fire. Not that not there's anything wrong with breathing fire, it's, it's just so mainstream. All right, before we uh, go any further, I want to take a quick dive down here. There's me a life. Uh-oh. I don't have a key, do I? Oops. Where the heck is the key? Well, I have to go back and get that. I was feeling all cool about myself because I knew there was a that compartment was in there. And I was like, I'm going to go in there and show this off. But I forgot that I actually need a key to open that chest. Anyway, uh, supercharge, you go faster, and your your charge is more powerful. So, like, that, uh, it's also super hard to control, like that. That chest, that unbreakable chest, I just need to hit it with a good supercharge, and we'll, uh, we'll break it open. Now, it's pretty hard to do, because like I said, you're, uh, you're very hard to control. And they make you run through this itty-bitty little cave. Just need to go this way. Got it. Oh! Dang it. I'll get it one of these days. I know where the key's at, too. I know exactly where the key's at.
I'm really loving this music. It's kind of weird. Like, it's kind of got a weird twangy feeling, but I love it. Whoa! Well, that was weird. Okay, well, I was hoping the third time would be the charm, but not the case. I do need to kind of hurry up because, uh, I want to spend too... Okay, supercharge didn't work. I don't want to spend too much time doing the... Doing the overworld. Turn now! Got it this time. That's all that was in there was a 25 gem, but hey, you know what? That's cool enough. I will take it. There's Wizard Peak. I think I already showed that off. Maybe. I can't remember. I was rudely interrupted by some lightning bolt idiot. And this is where our, our key is. Get the key. I wish Sparks would pick up the key. But no. He's like, no. Keys. Forget it. You, you gotta pick that up with your own four paws that I don't have because I'm a dragonfly. Alright. He's obviously a magical dragonfly. Obviously. But... Alright. This game always brought out the surrealist in me, and, and this world is it's one of two worlds that really brings it out in me. I mean, there's just so... Okay, bunch, bunch of fives. That better be it. That is not it. Okay, I'm missing gems. Uh, great. Awesome. I love it when I'm missing gems. There's probably more of that area that I haven't explored yet. been through here. Uh, oh, oh yeah, there's a whole other world down here. Duh! Alright, this jerk here. Yeah, so he, he doesn't raise or lower things when you get close to him. He just does it on a pattern. But what's funny is when you get close to him, this other guy would have done it too. Oh, he's not going to do it. He's braver than the other one. That sucks. Eh, that's too bad. That other guy that I killed, and I saw he was about to do it, um, when he, uh, when you get close to him, he, he freaks out, and he, uh, he raises, he starts waving his arms, running around, going, ah, ah, I mean, which is the appropriate response you would have for a dragon. It just always cracked me up as a kid, mostly because of the voice. It didn't really sound like he was terrified, it sounded like somebody, you know, trying to act like him. But here's the balloonist. Tuco. Thank you, Spyro, for recovering so many of our dragon eggs. Hop aboard for the Beastmakers if you're ready. Yeah, stay here. Uh, yeah, you need five dragon eggs to, uh, to get to the Beastmakers. And, uh, I got seven. That's the only time the, the dragon eggs come in handy. And there's Blowhard. That is the boss. Yeah, that's the only time the dragon eggs come in handy. It's an idea that they just sort of threw in there. I, I, I feel like they threw it in there. And then later on, we're like, oh, we put dragon eggs in there, didn't we? Should we get rid of it? Uh, no, because the thieves are awesome. Uh, now, thankfully, the dragon eggs, they made a whole game based on that, and that was, of course, Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. And they incorporated the thieves into some of that. All right, where's Alpine Ridge? It's time to begin our first stage. We're through with the whole world. Leave that awesome music for another piece of awesome music that you may or may not recognize if you were paying attention. 3,300. This music, you're not going to really be able to tell, but it's a remix of uh, the music that played in Night Flight. So that's kind of cool. Okay, this guy is... Uh, I don't know if you can see what was going on. You got that little dude there. I think feeds him every now and then. Yep, he feeds him. And he... And then he... He, he just yelled like like he was telling me to... Telling him to go... It's like, there's the dragon! Kill! And unfortunately, he's in a bad spot. Whoa. Whoa, that's a bad spot. And this guy's just... Just... This guy's just like... Roar! Roar! Isn't there one... No, there's no guy behind him. That's what he does. I love it. And then he starts laughing, which cracks me up even more. See, I think what it is, he freaks out from movement. Now he's laughing because he thinks he was laughing at a statue because all because Spyro's not moving. As soon as I start moving, he freaks out. That's funny. Yeah, this music, uh, Night Flight. I, I wouldn't say it's a remix of Night Flight, but it, it, it has a riff from Night Flight. And it's, uh, I'll point it out when it pops up. Uh, 
Ah, uh, wait for it. That's from Night Flight, and uh, I just think it's cool. Um, this game does that a lot with the soundtrack. Uh, this guy was playing with the stairs. Uh, I, this game soundtrack does that a lot. Uh, there's a lot of different like tunes that are just remixes of other tunes. That's kind of cool, I guess. I mean, it's really cool. But me being a music critic, of course I'm going to point that stuff out. Uh, let's see. Let's grab that. Oh, seriously, Sparks, you can't grab that? Fine, don't grab it. Let's go ahead and get our first dragon. Zane. Spyro, you're not afraid of those big, noisy, gigantic, awful beasts, are you? Of course not. I didn't think so. That's a stupid question. I mean, really, all he had to say was, Spyro, you're not afraid of... And then Spyro, all, all Spyro had to say was, of course not. Like, he doesn't even have to ask him what he's afraid of. You're not afraid of... Of course not. You don't even know what I was going to ask you what you were afraid of. No, no, I just know I'm not afraid of it. I'm Spyro the freaking dragon. I'm not afraid of nothing. Uh, yeah, there's a fork in the road. Actually, I kind of wish I hadn't taken this path. I wanted to show you something. But those little green wizards... I wonder if I can get a better view. No, I can't really get a better view. Oh, uh, suck. All right, well, well, we'll come out on the other end. There's a... Uh, you see that big blue guy back there? You can't really see him. There's a big blue dude over there. Well, there's a green wizard, I think, nearby him. Or maybe not. And he's... Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, I realize that. Whoops. Would you die, Spyro? I, like, <laughs> just fall. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Alright. Let's see if I can get a better look. The green wizard and the blue wizard are battling it out. And what's really s sucky is the green wizard totally has the advantage because every time... Look, he just knocked over the blue wizard. Every time the blue wizard tries to get in a hit, the green... Oh, he got in a hit. Never mind. Most of the time, the green wizard will uh, raise the platform he's standing on when the blue wizard tries to hit him. I, I just like that. It's, it adds a little atmosphere. Watch. Okay, he got him. But most of the time, the green wizard will raise the platform. It's unfair for the, for the blue wizard. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm really ticked off that I died. I got 17 lives. Lives are not a problem. I'm just ticked off that it happened. It's this wizard right here. Yeah. You gotta jump right before he loads the platform like that. There you go. Yeah, you better be scared. You killed me last time. Should I kill you? Nah, I won't kill you. I'm just kidding. I'm sadistic. And I'm taking a long time uh, doing this uh, video. I'm having so much fun here. You do not know. Alright. Ooh, I, got, I see some fireworks. I see some fireworks. I see some fireworks. That's gonna be fun. Uh, let's see. Yeah, daggum wizard. Jump now. Ah, again, I screwed up. Ah. Okay, that's two times I've died now. Now, now I'm, I'm ticked off. We're going in full throttle. Die. No, 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 no. I have to kill you because you killed me once before. I'm pissed off. Die. Wait for it now. Idiot. Jerk. Right by a freaking dragon, too. Eldred. Oh, thank you for releasing me. Oh, you're quite welcome. Sorry I was a little late. Would have gotten here sooner if I hadn't died two times. Alright, let's see. Uh, can I jump over there? No, I can't. I probably shouldn't have taken this pathway first. I probably should have darted down to where that blue and green wizard were. Oh well. And I heard another thief. 
Did I kill him? I killed him. Uh, which way do I go? I wonder what happens if I kill him. See, now they're pissed off because I killed the guy who was feeding them. Oh well. Oh my gosh. Get me out of this pit. There we go. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I see you. I think the uh, green wizard's egging them on. Don't worry, buddy. I don't like that green wizard any more than you do. But I still have to kill you. You have gems that I need. Hey, guys. Ah, it, see, uh, now yeah, you should not have been sleeping. You were just, you were, you were asleep, and now you're dead. Now you're really asleep. All right, we good, we good, we good. Oh, one lone gem. Let's grab it. Good, yeah, good. Now, now our number is three three nine. Yeah, that's... Oh, almost fell. Almost fell. That actually bothers me. Because, like, now I'm getting gems that are odd numbers. Has he got a one gem? No, he's got a five gem. I've got odd numbers now, and that's a bad sign. That that makes me think I missed one somewhere back. There's the home portal. Xander! Great work, Spyro. If you keep this up, you'll learn all the tricks of the magic crafter world. Oh, well, uh... Okay. Well, instead of going home, let's, uh, let's backtrack. This little glide here will take me to the very beginning of the stage. A lot of stages now are going to be like that, where they kind of just loop around. And we'll take that other path that I have missed. I feel like I'm missing a one gem around here somewhere, because I have an odd number of gems, and that is not a good sign. Uh-oh, uh -oh, almost fell. Now, to my knowledge, the only way to get here is to just do a straight glide. Hey guys, sorry to break up your feud, but, uh, yeah. Okay, that guy's a jerk. I'm gonna have to do something about him. Let's wait for it, wait for it. Okay, he's down. Alright, you suck. Yeah, see, oh, okay, there, there's my fix. Now I got even numbers. I'm good. Ah, see, the blue wizard was standing here, and the green wizard would raise this platform and knock the blue wizard over. That kind of sucks. For, for the blue wizard, I mean. But the blue wizards are jerks anyway. Okay, I was testing that. I was going to see if, if you could... Ow! Jerk? Jerk? I don't know which one of you did it. You're both jerks. Now, I was seeing if I could charge into them. You can't. Uh, blah, 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 blah. They're too big for that. Okay, now we got some legitimate platforming actually going on. This is like Crash Bandicoot style platforming right here. And it's all because of them stupid wizards. That was not it. Wait for it. Now that. Oh, oh boy, that's bad. I save stated though. We're good. I got stuck. <laughs> I love doing that. What gets me is they start laughing. Like, they freak out, and then they're like, No, I'm not scared of you. I just thought I was scared of you. Alright. See, I'm back to an odd number gem now. That's really bothering me. I feel like I missed one somewhere. Yeah, I really should have taken this path first. Because, yeah, I really should have taken that path first. Oh, well, we wasted time. All right, so where's my one gem that I'm missing, and how do I get over there? Oh, there, there's a whole other area I didn't take, I believe. I believe. I believe, believe. And it's important to believe that I didn't duck into this tunnel. Okay. No, I did duck. I did, too, duck into this tunnel. There's a gem in here that I'm missing, ain't there? I'm gonna come up one gem short, and it's gonna drive me near insane. All right, 480's a little confused now.
I don't think. Oh, oh, okay. I know what I do. Uh, that's the okay. I know what I do. Okay, first off, get these. I make this glow. Oh, this is gonna be majestic right here. Heck yeah. Try not to move around the side too much like I'm doing. Oh, uh, this is gonna be really tough. Well, it's not really tough. You just gotta be fast. That's a little dangerous. Because you obviously can't stand on these platforms when your fireworks go off or you will get uh, blown up. I know. I have done it. And there is our thief. I will take care of him later. I gotta get gems on the path. Kelvin! Remember that these blue thieves haven't stolen eggs only in the magic crafter world. Don't worry. I'll take care of them. Yeah, they, they really, like, the Magic Crafters is the place of the thieves. Like, you, you find, in, like, two thieves in a single stage. Um, the requirement for going to the next world is get a certain amount of dragon eggs. And they keep telling you about the thieves. But, uh, apart from that, they really don't have much of a use. Now, we'll see the thieves after we find all the dragon eggs. Okay, there's my 500 gems. I freaked out. I thought I was going to come up one short. All right, buddy. It's on now. You're the only thing that I lack in this stage. Okay, that's good. Whoa! Almost, almost died. Now, how do I get home? The question of the hour. And for the answer... Oh, got to take the long way. That's fine. Over here... And this stage and in the video this video went on a little bit and, and really because I didn't speed through the game I'm, I'm taking time to actually savor the game and enjoy the game that's what I need to do it more more often in my let's plays all right well that was a good video 500 gems that's a that's a good number all right 3800 all right well in the next video we'll go do another state you know what? I'll just go ahead and get set up to enter the next stage yeah. I like that the thief runs away and he has nothing in his hands. But he acts like he's holding something in his hands. Alright, the next stage, uh, video, we'll do the next stage, which is the high caves. So until then, I will see you later.